everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve a yellow triangle warning on your C drive when you are browsing this PC. You come across a little bit locker error message, a little error triangle. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing, if you want to re-enable BitLocker if, if there was an issue and you want to turn it back on. All you have to do is just open up the start menu, type in control panel, best result, should come back with control panel, go ahead and open that up. Set your view by to large icons, and then you want to select BitLocker drive encryption. Select to turn on BitLocker, and then you just would go ahead and turn it back on, reinitialize it basically. Um, if instead of turning back on, you'd rather turn it off, we can go ahead and open up the start menu. Type in CMD, best result, should come back with command prompt. You want to go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now I'm going to have a command in the description of the video here, and the letter C is the C drive in which Windows is installed on, and that's where we're going to assume that you guys are having the problem. You will swap out that drive letter depending on what drive you're having this problem with. So you just want to make sure that you address that and before you paste it in, so copy it from my description, put it in a notepad file or something, and change the drive letter if you must, but otherwise we're going to just paste in the command I have in the description of the video, and then once you've copied it to your clipboard, go up to the top bar of the command prompt here, right click on it, select edit, and then paste it in. And drive encryption isn't even enabled, that's why I'm getting that error there, but otherwise this would turn it off. So pretty straightforward tutorial guys, do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.